You belong here. You belong in this fancy house with a gigantic pool lounging and not worrying about anything. You belong in a fancy house. You belong to Ryan Gosling whispering sweet nothings in your ear. You deserve this gorgeous house. You deserve a man who adores you and children who admire you. You deserve a business that routinely drops cash in your account. Your hopes, dreams, and wishes can be your reality. So who am I talking to? I am talking to the empowered woman who has a mile-long independent streak, who is tired of putting themselves on the back burner, and who fell victim to the college, marriage, kids, rat race that we face in America. I am Whitney Nicely, and I am the broker for Whitney Buys Houses, but you can buy houses too, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right here. So there's two reasons that women need a real estate portfolio. One is we live longer than men, okay? Scientifically proven, we're going to outlive our mates by several years, if not decades. So I want to know right now, is your money going to outlive you? Or are you going to outlive your money? The second reason is that we spend more money than men. All right, I'll tell y'all that before I get out of the shower in the morning, I have spent more money than my husband because he used, you know, herbal essence shampoo and a bar of dial soap. I used bedhead, $18 a bottle, shampoo, conditioner. Then I had a body wash. I had a face wash. I had one of those little scrubby things to get into my pores. And then when I got out, I needed a hair towel, a body towel, and then a face towel. Okay? I spent more money before we even left the house than my husband did. Do you know what else I spend more money? If I send my husband into the grocery store for a pack of bacon, then five minutes later, he comes back out with a pack of bacon. If I go into the grocery store for a pack of bacon, I come back out with the pack of bacon, a fruit tray, a vegetable tray, cinnamon rolls for breakfast in the morning, and I found the shampoo aisle, so they had the bedhead on sale, buy one, get one free, I bought more of that, oh, and we needed, you know, birthday cards, and this, that, and the other, so I spent $100 and 45 minutes, because you know I found three different people to talk to while I was in there, so I spent $100, he spent five, and if time is money, I wasted 45 minutes when he spent five minutes in and out and done. Y'all, we just spend more money than our husbands do. So now I know that you're interested in real estate. I know that you know 80% of millionaires have real estate. We need seven streams of income, and millionaires count real estate as one of those streams, if not two. I also love those HGTV shows. I'm obsessed with the DIY network. I hear y'all saying this to me all the time, but you know what's way more fun than watching a scripted, fully funded show for 30 minutes? It's actually getting out and doing the work and making that money. I mean, you see at the end of the show, they made $50,000, $100,000, $200,000. You should be doing that. Stop watching somebody else have all the fun. It's always been your passion to get involved in real estate. You've watched these shows. You watched your friends of yours invest in real estate. Your parents invest in real estate. Maybe your uncle, maybe your grandfather. You know, you knew somebody who invested in real estate. And now is your time. You need to be investing in real estate. You need to be living the life that you've always been dreaming of. Because the timing is perfect right now. The real estate market is increasing. And if you're not on this wave of property values going up, you're going to be so disappointed in yourself in another 10 years when you think of the money that you've lost. Okay. You're, you're also tired of waiting. I know you're tired of waiting. You put yourself on the back burner. You've put your kids through school. You put your husband through school. You put yourself through school and you know what you got from it. You got a regular nine to five. That's what you got. And that's not where you need to be. You know you need to be in real estate. You see these opportunities everywhere. You're watching the shows. You know how to find distressed properties. You know what a motivated seller looks like, but you don't know what to do with them when you find them. You're so excited about the possibilities that you can't hardly sleep at night. I mean, you binge watch those shows every Saturday. 
and you dream and you've got these vision boards of what you're going to do when you actually start investing in real estate, stop waiting. Start buying houses. Buy those houses so you can buy those fancy shoes. I know y'all want the good stuff in life. I know you deserve the good stuff in life. So instead of waiting until the right time, the time is now. Y'all, women make 70 cents on the dollar, but in real estate, we make as much, if not more, than men. Because women make it, are better investors than men. That, that's a fact, too. I know you don't make enough money. Point blank, dead end, I know you do not make enough money. There's no way you can make enough money to get out of debt. There's no way that you're making enough money to pay off your house and have it free and clear. There's no way that you're going to be able to retire early. You are not making enough money. You're barely paying off your student loans. You're paying, you know, a hundred dollars every now and then on your student loans and your student loans got you into that nine to five job where you're not making enough money. You're not making enough money to take a real vacation. I know you're not because when you're on vacation, I see you checking your emails. I see you making calls back to the office. I see you worried about what the bank statement says while you should be enjoying your family. You are not making enough money. You're not covering your health care. If an emergency, God forbid, happens, you're SOL. All right, yeah, you got insurance. Yeah, you pay out the tail for that. But if something absolutely catastrophic happened and you weren't able to work, you would be devastated. You would be in a severe world of pain. You don't make enough money to send your kids to private school and you know that that's the best place to get them education. You don't make enough money to send your kids to college so that they can pay room and board, tuition, books, food, and not have to work a part-time job like you did. You're not making enough money to give your kids the life that they deserve, the life that you always wanted. You're not making enough money. You're stuck being the woman who has passed up opportunity after opportunity after opportunity because you didn't think you had enough money. Stop it, y'all. Don't be the woman who passed up on her dreams. Don't be in that nursing home that you can't afford because you didn't make enough money to set yourself up for retirement. Talking about all the things she wanted to do if she was 30 again, or if she was 40 again, or if she was 50 again, it's not too late to get into real estate. But if you stay in this job that you're in right now, what's it going to feel like? Having that same boring job, having those horrendous benefits. All right, yeah, you got insurance carried, covered. Big whoop de doo You also get free staples for life. Is that really a benefit worth giving your life away for? No. No, it's not. And you're going to have the same money coming in. I know your boss promised you years ago that he would eventually give you a 20% raise if you met all your quota and if you did all the stuff that he wanted, but year after year, you see him making more money and you're still have, you still have the same money coming in. You're still stuck with that same partner who doesn't do their share and you're forced to pull up the slack and get the job done. But you know what? You have more money going out because the cost of living goes up every single year. Your kids get more expensive every single year. You thought they were expensive when they're in diapers? Heck y'all, now they want cars, now they want to go to college, now they want, you know, senior trips on cruises. You don't get to go on cruises? Why do they get to go on cruises? And your dreams are shrinking. Your timeline to get those dreams are shrinking. Okay, when you were 20, it was cool. You could worry about retiring later. You could save money later. You got plenty of time. But y'all, you're 30 now. You are 40 years old now. You are going to be retiring in two decades or heck fire. Maybe you're 50 years old and you are staring at retirement and you have no idea. You're starting to think that maybe you can work until you're 75 years old. Who wants to work until they're 75 years old? I know I don't. You don't either. You want to retire, except retirement is closer than ever. And you are scared. You have no idea how you're going to cover it because you know 
right now looking at your retirement account that you are definitely going to outlive that money that's in there. You know what else happens? That house you've been paying on for 5, 10, 15 years, it's an older house now. It needs more repairs. The roof needs to be replaced and you're going to have to take out a loan to get the roof replaced. The plumbing is messed up. The septic system needs to be done. There's all sorts of things that need to be done to your house, but you are going to have to pick up an extra shift or a second job or start selling some MLM product just so that you have enough money to pay off what needs to be done on your own house. You are stretched thin and that is not the life for you. You are tired of the same old crap year after year and every single year you say, I'm going to do it different next year. I'm going to do it different next year. Y'all don't wait for January the 1st to make the decision to get a shift in your life because opportunities are passing you by every single day. I don't know about y'all, but I just knew Prince Charming was going to come and buy me a castle in the sky and whisk me away on this fancy carriage he has. And yes, I did find my Prince Charming, but y'all, he didn't buy me that castle in the sky. I bought it for my own self because I make my own money and I'm not waiting and depending on a man to give me pocket change so I can go to the spa every day. Y'all don't deserve that either. You are fully capable of taking hold of your future and getting your dreams fulfilled your own self. Maintain your independence. It is sexy to own real estate. And if you don't believe me, ask my husband. All right? Like ask my husband if he is proud of me because I have my own stuff going on. I own my own real estate. I own my own business. I am cash flowing every month and it relieves him from feeling like he needs to provide for me. He needs to do this for me. He has to work extra for me. Oh no, I'm pulling my own weight because I am a 21st century woman and so are you. You don't need to ask your husband for permission. If you want to spend some money, you make your own money. You don't need to ask for permission if you want to go to the spa one Saturday. Oh, no, you worked hard, girl. You go to that spa. Quit waiting on Prince Charming to come fulfill your dreams when you could do it yourself. I'm going to show you how you can buy real estate with none of your own money. All right? You may think that you need $100,000 in the bank so you can start a real estate portfolio. You don't. You don't need any money to start investing in real estate. Nobody's going to check your credit either. Okay, so if you got crap credit, don't even worry about it because we're not going to the banks. We're never going to talk about foreclosures. I hate the F word. Okay, and those are limited to agents. We don't work with agents. We don't pay commissions. You don't need that. And you certainly don't need a real estate license to start investing in real estate. If you're over the age of 18 and you have the mindset that you want to be a real estate investor, honey, I can't wait to show you the amazing world of owning your own real estate. Check out some of the stuff I bought. Look at this house. Four bedrooms, three baths on the lake in East Tennessee. This is a four bedroom, three bath house in Georgia. This next picture is a three bedroom, two and a half bath on one and a half acres. No money in this. This is a house that was a two bedroom, one bath. And when I was done with it, it was a three bedroom, two bath. This was another house that we worked on last year. I buy pretty houses in pretty neighborhoods, and I'm going to show you how you can own houses like this in 12 weeks or less. So if you're ready, go to allaboutrei.com and fill out my application. But I got to tell y'all that I only take a select group of millionaires every month. All right. And I'm working with women who want to get out of this dead end job. They want to live the life that they've been dreaming of for the last 10 or 15 years. Once you fill out the application on allaboutrei.com, Abby the Labby and I, we're going to review your application and make sure you're a good fit for our program because we don't just take anybody. Just because you can afford to get into real estate doesn't mean that you're going to have the right mindset and the right drive to get these goals achieved. So I want you to know, and I want you to repeat this after me. It is safe for me to buy real estate. 
It is safe for me to collect extra money every single month. It is safe for me to have large chunks of cash coming straight into my bank account on autopilot. It is safe for me to extend my vacations and not work on Friday so I can go hang out with the kids all summer. This is safe for me and it's safe for you. So let's go get them girls. Fill out that application on allaboutrei.com and then book a call with me so that you can live your happily ever after with your prince, with your own money, on your own schedule, just like you deserve.